Okay, so this is exercise uh, 5.5, and we are going ahead with the ninth question. Ninth question x to the power of sin x, x to the power of sin x plus sin x to the power of cos x, sin x to the power of cos x. So, as usual, this entire thing we write this as a y. <coughs> y equal to x to the power of sin x plus sin x to the power of cos x. In this, we consider this as first function f of x. We consider this as a second function g of x. Therefore, <coughs> dy by dx is nothing but f dash x plus g dash x. f dash x meaning differentiation of f of x, g dash x is differentiation of g dash x, g of x. So, first one, f dash x meaning we have to do the differentiation of x to the power of sin x. That is why we write f of x equal to x to the power of sin x take logarithm both sides take logarithm so you will have log f of x equals to log x to the power of sin x that becomes sin x will come to the front sin x log x so here we have two functions u and v so this is log f of x so I'll differentiate in the next page. So log f of x <coughs> equal to sin x and log x. So RHS side is LHS is easy. LHS is a standard one. 1 by f of x into f dash x. This is LHS. For RHS differentiation, so we are considering u equal to sin x, v equals to log x, u dash is cos x, v dash is 1 by x. So RHS differentiation, differentiation of RHS equal to u dash v plus u v dash that is this cos x log x plus 1 by x sin x. So now equating LHS differentiation to RHS then you have f dash x divided by f of x equal to cos x log x plus 1 by x sin x. f dash x equal to f of x multiplied by entire thing. So, or f of x is nothing but x to the power of sin x. So, x to the power of sin x bracket cos x log x plus 1 by x sin x. This we consider as equation 1. Okay, so now we have to go for g of x and g dash x. So g of x equals to sin x to the power of cos x. So take log both sides. You will get log g of x equal to log sin x to the power of cos x that's equal to cos x into log sin x. We just use a logarithm. Now we differentiate differentiate LHS and differentiate RHS here.
So LHS differentiation 1 by g of x into g dash x. RHS differentiation, you have got two functions. This is u, this is v. And in the v again you have to use a chain rule. Okay. So we will have u dash equal to minus sin x, v dash equal to 1 by sin x into sin x differentiation is cos x. So that is equal to cot x, v dash is cot x. So using the formula u dash v plus u v dash, u dash is this, so minus sin x into v is log sin x plus u v dash cos x v dash is into cot x. Okay. So now g dash x equal to g of x into g of x is this sin x to the power of cos x into this entire thing minus sin x log sin x plus cos x into cot x. So this we take it as 2. So we have to add 1 and 2. Okay. So we go back and try to get this part. <coughs> This is f dash x. G dash x is this. Let's cut off. Okay, undo. So we just want to cut that. We want to um, Am I getting the same thing? Okay, so this is here. Okay, good. So I can add these two things here, and I say the final one is dy by dx, dy by dx equal to sine x to the power of cos x into minus sin x log sin x oh huh, yeah g dash x plus f dash x also you can write the yeah, order is not a problem cos x into cot x okay and plus this plus x to the power of sin x bracket cos x just copying them is you know that's a little bit of a, a caution required we may miss something okay so that's all is the final answer right so we will go back and uh, try to um, erase these things okay this one is put it here and we'll try to cut it actually cut okay and this is your final answer which you can take it to the top so put it here and
So that's all the answer is. Right. So we go to the next question now. So do you want to check the answers? Like you know, you can check in the textbook in case there are any differences. Hmm? You can ask me later. All right. Or you want to check right away. So you can go to that 5.5. .5. This question is nine, right? So x to the power of uh, sin x to sin x by x. Okay, that's the second term plus cos x log x. Okay, then sin x to the power of cos x into cot x minus sin x log sin x. Okay, so perfect. So we are going ahead with the tenth question. <coughs> so x to the power of x cos x. So f of x. I'm writing straight away. X to the power of x cos x. G of x is x square plus one divided by x square minus one. X square plus one divided by x square minus one. So, as usual, dy by dx is nothing but f dash x. This step you have to write. Okay, g dash x. So now f of x. I'll straight away take log f of x. That means I am taking logarithm for this equal to log x to the power of x cos x. So you will get log f of x equal to. So this x cos x will come front x cos x into log x. So you have three parts here. First these two and then that part. You can rearrange these things. Yeah, you can rearrange them as cos x and x log x in order to have this as easy differentiation. Okay, so we can copy this entire thing, or I remember this. You don't need to copy this. Log f of x. So continued log f of x equal to cos x into x into log x. So we have to go for the differentiation part. Differentiation part, left side is easy. So that's a one by f of x into f dash x. And here differentiation is take this as u, take this entire thing as v. This again has two things. Okay. So let's why do it separately. U dash equal to minus sine x. V dash equal to again uv rule so differentiation of x is 1 log x plus x into 1 by x this is differentiation of log x so you get cancel so v dash is nothing but 1 plus log x 1 I am writing from here log x is from here so you need this and you need this so differentiation of RHS RHS differentiation is nothing but u dash v minus sin x into v is x log x plus u v dash u is cos x v dash is this 1 plus log x So we have this, therefore f dash x equal to minus sin x, x log x plus cos x into 1 plus log x. This is our equation 1. Okay. So here itself we will copy this and take it to the next page. So that it is better to have this in every page. Add to new page. Okay, so we'll keep this at the bottom or maybe at the top. Okay, now we have to take for the g of x. g of x is x square plus 1 divided by x square minus 1. So you have choice either u by v rule you can use 
because this entire thing is u, this entire thing is v, or you can use a logarithm also. Both are fine. Since we are there in the logarithms, we will try to use log g of x equal to log x square plus 1 minus log x square minus 1 using the properties of logarithms. Now take differentiate both sides. You will have 1 by g of x into g dash x equal to for this this is 1 by x square plus 1 but then you have to differentiate this you get 2x minus 1 by x squared minus 1 differentiation of that is 2x so you take 2x common out and have LCM also x squared plus 1 into x squared minus 1 then you will have x squared minus 1 minus x squared minus 1 so this x squared gets cancelled you will have g dash x equal to g of x g of x is nothing but this x square plus 1 divided by x squared minus 1 x squared minus 1 this is g of x then we are multiplying that with a 2x and here you got minus 2 that's minus this becomes 4 this 4x and then you have 1 divided by x squared plus 1 into x squared minus 1. So here this x squared plus 1 get cancelled. So you will have g dash x is equal to minus 4x that is this minus 4x divided by x squared minus 1 whole squared. That's a simplified one. This is equation 2. So we have to add equation 1 and equation 2 to get the final answer. Okay. So we go ahead as we do this copy paste. So this entire thing add to new page. Okay. Then come back. So we have this as well. Okay. So take it to here. So the final answer is f dash x plus g dash x. That's dy by dx. dy by dx equal to. Did we multiply this with uh, f of x? No, right? We didn't multiply, right? We have to multiply this. Okay. So this has to be multiplied with x to the power of x cos x. Correct, right? So that means we have to correct here also. x to the power of x cos x. Same thing here as well. So, x to the power of x cos x minus sin x x log x plus cos x 1 plus log x then g dash x which is minus g of x also we need to multiply, isn't it? This is g dash x we need to multiply with g of x we are not multiplying g dash x we wrote but we didn't multiply with the g of x or we multiplied yeah we multiplied here yeah correct 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 we multiplied that already so this is not required so this is so minus 4x divided by x squared minus 1 whole squared is the final answer.
So, you have x cos x, the 11th question. 11th question is x cos x to the power of x plus x sin x to the power of 1 by x. So, all long questions. Okay. So, f of x equals to x cos x to the power of x. Then, take logarithm. So, you will have log f of x equal to x log x cos x. I am actually skipping one step, you know. x will come into front, right? You understand that, isn't it? Yeah, okay. So, now differentiating. So, LHS you will get 1 by f of x into f dash x. This is LHS. Now, for RHS, So, RHS would be, you got x log x cos x, which means u is x, v is x cos x. So, this again has two parts, u dash is 1, v dash equal to first differentiation of x, which is 1, then cos x plus x into minus sin x. So, you have v dash as cos x minus x sin x. Therefore, the g dash x would be g of x, sorry, we are in f of x, right? I am just going with. So, f dash x equal to f of x is nothing but x cos x to the power of x, that is this multiplied by u dash v plus u v dash multiplied by u dash v that is x cos x plus u v dash x cos x minus x squared sin x ok so this is that last step what we have to take it to the next page. So, you can add it to the library if you want. You can go to the add new page. So, g of x is x sin x to the power of g of x is x sin x to the power of 1 by x. So, that implies log g of x equals to log x sin x to the power of 1 by x. And therefore, differentiating, you will have g dash x by g of x equal to differentiation of this is you have to use a chain rule. You will get a chain rule here. So, 1 divided by, oh, we didn't take the 1 by x, isn't it? So, we did not write this as, so that becomes 1 by x into log x sin x. So, this 1 by x has to be brought right to the front. Okay. So, you have u dash u is equal to 1 by x, that is this, v is equal to log x sin x. So, u dash is minus 1 by x square. I suggest you to remember this, how to get this minus 1 by x square. Okay. v dash is 1 by x sin x, then differentiation of this, sin x, for x it is 1, right? plus x cos x. 
got it this is u dash v inside this actually okay so that's why i'm not writing i'm i'm just saying you do uv rule for this okay you are doing uv rule for that that's why you get this okay so g dash x equal to g of x x sin x to the power of 1 by x into u dash v that is minus 1 by x square to v is log x sin x plus u v dash 1 by x v dash is this 1 by x sin x sin x plus x cos x ok so your final answer is f dash x plus g dash x ok I am skipping that part you can actually fill it up ok so your dy by dx equal to f dash x plus g dash x you have to write in exam ok I am skipping that I am hmm? just skipping that part because you are just adding the this is 1 and 2 this is entire thing is 2 and this entire thing is 1 so 1 plus 2 alright because it's just blindly copying there right because next set of questions 12 13 14 15 these are the important questions okay when compared to this whatever we have done what we are going to do right now are the important questions okay so uh, So which is 12, 13, 14 and 15. Okay. <coughs> so first 13 question. <coughs> 12, 12th question. 12th question. He says find dy by dx. He has given x to the power of x plus x to the power of y plus y to the power of x plus y to the power of x equal to 1 so approach is very very simple ok last time we consider f of x and g of x now we have to consider this as f of x this is g of x and this is h of x three functions are there and then differentiate so when you differentiate this you should get differentiation we get d by dx of ok I think we can write f dash x plus g dash x equal to h dash x so now we will do the things separately and then substitute into this one this is equation 1 ok we substitute into this so f of x equal to x to the power of y so take logarithm then you get log f of x equal to log x to the power of y so then you differentiate oh, before that you write it as log f of x equal to that y will come into the front y log x now differentiate 1 by f of x into f dash x equal to so uv rule here so we are using uv rule first one is this differentiation what is differentiation of y dy by dx next log x you will write it 
plus y into log x differentiation is 1 by x. Have you understood this? Understood, right? So, we, we need f dash x. That's why don't take off dy by dx from here. Just keep it like that only. So, f dash x would be f of x into dy by dx log x plus y by x. This entire thing is multiplied like that. Okay. This is f dash x. Let's go to g dash x. g of x is y to the power of x. g of x is y to the power of x. So, take logarithm both sides. So, you will get log g of x equal to log y to the power of x. So, this can be written as log g of x equal to x log y. Now, differentiate both sides. g dash x divided by g of x equal to uv rule again. For x, it is 1 log y plus x into 1 by y chain rule. For y, it is a dy by dx. Therefore, g dash x equal to g of x is nothing but y to the power of x bracket log y plus x by y dy by dx. dy by dx. This is the equation 2. So, we need to add f dash x and g dash x. Okay? And then equate to h dash x. We have to get h dash x. h of x equal to 1. Therefore, h dash x equal to 0 because it is a constant. So, all this stuff we have to Oh, we have to substitute this into the first one. So, this one. Okay. So, that's why we take 1 by 1 from here. Okay. So, we take this. Oh, this is not the one we want. This is the old one. So, we'll go back. We get this stuff first. Okay. We'll probably get this stuff first. I think I should better write it in a mm, next page. Okay, not bad. So, we will come back to the f of x is here.
So we'll simply add this and then we will uh, cut it off actually. So f of x is basically this one is to be cut off. Okay. So better to write it off anyway. So f of x is nothing but x to the power of y. So x to the power of y into dy by dx log x plus y by x. This is the first part. Okay. I substituted f of x. So this is f dash x. g dash x is y to the power of x log y plus y to the power of x into x by y into dy by dx. This is g dash x. This entire thing equal to h dash x equal to 0. Therefore, this is 0. Clear? So now we go back and then erase this entire part. Mm -hmm. So, better I take it to this previous page. So what I need to do is, here I have to take the dy by dx part only. So this also if I expand, I'll have only the dy by dx terms. That is this one, x to the power of y into log x, that is this part, plus this part, plus y to the power of x into x by y. Okay. The remaining things I'll take to the other side. That means this will go to the other side minus y to the power of x log y, then minus x to the power of y into y by x. Understood the step? x to the power of y. See, this is the second term, right? The first term is here. This one has come here. The second one has gone to the right side. Okay, that gives dy by dx this equal to this entire thing will be divided by that. So I'll take minus out from here y to the power of x log y plus x to the power of y into y by x whole divided by this one x to the power of y log x plus y to the power of x into x by y. I will I will clean it up okay I will do that now then we will go through one more time entire thing. Alright <coughs> So this page is trash. We don't need this page. And this page also is trash. We don't need that page. So this page also trash. We don't need this page. So now let's go to that part. Okay. So we'll go backward.
12th question. Okay, we are revising this. So we got x to the power of y plus y to the power of x. This can come as is, you know. This question can come and it has come in 2015 or 16. Okay. So x to the power of y plus y to the power of x equal to 1. So we consider f of x, g of x, h of x. <coughs> and differentiating we will get f dash x plus g dash x equal to h dash x. So we have to substitute into this equation 1. We are taking f of x equal to x to the power of y. Taking logarithm, we get log f of x equal to log x to the power of y. <coughs> then <coughs> log f of x equal to y log x. This y will come into the front. That's why this is y log x. Differentiating both sides. <coughs> 1 by f of x, f dash x equals to, this is uv rule differentiation of y is dy by dx. Then you have to write log x because u dash v that's a log x plus u which is y v dash is log x differentiation 1 by x. That's what a u, u, u v rule we used. So f dash x equal to <coughs> f of x because this one in, from the denominator goes to this side f of x multiplied by dy by dx log x plus y by x. So f of x is outside. Next, g of x is y to the power of x. Take log both sides. Log g of x equal to log y to the power of x. So this becomes x log y. It's x to the count. x comes to the front. So g dash by g of x, that's a differentiation of this u dash is 1, v is log y, plus u is x, v dash is first 1 by y into dy by dx. This is a chain rule. We use chain rule, okay, uv rule, both we have used, okay, uv plus chain rule in this case, okay. So then, <coughs> g dash x equal to g of x. g of x is nothing but y to the power of x. So y to the power of x into log y plus x by y divided by dx. This is equation 2. h of x equal to 1 and therefore h dash x equal to 0. Okay. So we need to be substituting f dash x, g dash x, h dash x into So it's taking some time. Okay, so this is our f dash x. This is our g dash x. That's our h dash x. So we try to add them. I substituted f of x, x to the power of y, dy by dx log x plus y by x. That's the same as this. Plus y to the power of x. I expanded, multiplied this. Y to the power of x into log y plus y to the power of x into x by y dy by dx. This is dy by dx. Okay. So, h dash x equal to 0. That's why I put h dash x equal to 0. Then, we have to make y dy by dx as a subject. That's what we'll be using in the next page. So, we rewrote the entire thing. We just have written entire thing back. y to the power of x. This is y to the power of x. So, dy by dx, you have here. Okay. And you also have here dy by dx. So that's why you will see both the terms dy by dx into x to the power of y into log x, that is this, plus y to the power of x into x by y. So whatever are the remaining things should go to the other side. So this one has gone to the other side, minus y to the power of x log y. Then this one is there, right? This one also will go to the other side, minus x to the power of y into y by x, because y is minus is coming because it's plus, right? So dy by dx equal to this entire thing minus y to the power of x log y plus x to the power of y, y by x divided by this entire thing. There is one small algebraic simplification they will do in the textbook because this is divided by x, this is divided by y. They'll write this as final thing, x to the power of y minus 1 they will write 
and for this y to the power of x minus 1 they write but it's okay even if you don't write that okay understood right so once we understand 12th question 13th question if you see it's y to the power of x plus x to the y to the power of x equal to x to the power of y it's a simple we can take straight away from here y to the power of x equal to x to the power of y what this means is previous question was 12th question was x to the power of y plus y to the power of x equal to 1 now this question can be written as x to the power of y minus y to the power of x equal to 0 correct you took all the things to one side this is what it is so this becomes h of x this becomes your g of x this becomes your f of x so f dash x minus g dash x equal to 0 anyway so we have to equate f dash x to g dash x right and we'll take up from the uh, previous page only we don't need to do entire thing now previous page go there and we have got whatever is this one written here this entire thing okay I can take this and put it into the next page so instead of plus here I will get minus for both these cases okay so this is our f dash x therefore x to the power of y into dy by dx log x plus y by x equal to you are having already minus here so this becomes this becomes minus this becomes minus right when it goes to the other side both are plus only so y to the power of x log y plus y to the power of x into x by y into dy by dx okay now mind we can just um, so we have this now we have to take <coughs> entire thing as so dy by dx is taken common we write this as x to the power of y log x plus x to the power of y into y by x this is expanded that's equal to I write this first one dy by dx into y to the power of x into x divided by y plus y to the power of x log y so I want this fellow to be going to the other side so you get dy by dx x to the power of y log x that is this minus y to the power of x into x divided by y so this fellow will go to the other side so you will have y to the power of x log y that is this 
minus x to the power of y into y by x. Understood? Hopefully. Therefore, dy by dx equal to this entire thing, this entire thing divided by this. So, y to the power of x log y minus x to the power of y y by x divided by x to the power of y log x minus y to the power of x into x divided by y. This is the final answer. Okay. So, 14th question. So, let's what is there in the next page? This is 13th question. How come I have 13th question? Okay, then this I have to go and then put this there. So, this is 13th question and uh, so 12th is this. So, I'll go and put it here. So, now we try to see this. So, 13th and then we have, yeah, we have taken that, taken this, correct, previous, previous. So, this is your 12th question. I suppose this is the 12th question. Yes, uh, previous, h dash x is there, next is there. So, we have yet to complete this. There is one more. Okay. Oh, this page also has to go to the previous one. Okay, this page has to go to the previous one. So, so where is this? Okay, and therefore now we have thirteen, and we just took this off entire thing. That's equal to this is what we did. F dash x is the correct. So correct, correct. So, everything is set now, okay? Previous, what happened again? I got the same thing back. So, g of x is this, next is this, uh, this is done, uh, this is the last part of it, and this is 13, and we added this, and we got this, okay? Fourteenth question. Cos x to the power of y. Cos x to the power of y equal to cos y to the power of x. So, take logarithm both sides. Even for 13 we could have done, but then 12th anyway we have done, that's why I use the 13th one, I mean for 12th answer for the 13th one. So when I take logarithm, you will have log cos x to the power of y equal to, I'll tell you if you want uh, even the 13th also we can do in the same way, okay. Log cos y to the power of x. So this y will come to the front this x will to the, come to the front, right? So, you got y log cos x equal to x log cos y. Then, differentiate both sides. Actually, same. You can consider f of x, g of x and then find f dash x, g dash x you can equate also. Now, left side differentiation. would be the UV rule. So, first is dy by dx. Differentiation of this is that into log cos x plus y into 1 by cos x and cos x differentiation is minus sin x. So, this translates to dy by dx 
into log cos x minus y tan x. This is LHS. RHS would be this is u and this entire thing is v. Okay. So u dash is 1 into log cos y plus u 1 by cos y minus sin y into dy by dx. Therefore, this must be equal to log cos y minus x tan y into dy by dx. Understood? Okay. okay. So, bring this dy by dx to this side. Then you will have dy by dx into log cos x once this comes this side plus x tan y equal to log cos y minus becomes plus y tan x. Therefore, dy by dx equal to this entire thing log cos y plus y tan x entire thing divided by this log cos x plus x tan y. This is the final answer. We have one more question left. Are you there? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, this is the 14th question over. Next one is the 15th question. x y equal to e to the power of x plus y. Very important question also e to the power of x plus y. So take log both sides. Then you will have log x y equal to log e power x plus y. So by logarithmic rules, you will have log x plus log y equal to x plus y into log e. Log e means it is log e to the base e, which is equal to 1. So, this will become 1. So, you will have log x plus log y equal to x plus y into 1 because of this. Okay. So, now differentiate both sides. Differentiating. This is 1 by x plus 1 by y into dy by dx equal to differentiation of x is 1 plus differentiation of y is dy by dx. So, get this dy by dx to this side. So, you will have dy by dx. This 1 by y is there anyway. And this comes to other side becomes minus 1 equal to this goes to this side 1 minus 1 by x. So, that implies dy by dx. equal to 1 minus 1 by x divided by 1 by y minus 1. So, if you want to simplify that, you will have x minus 1 by x divided by 1 minus y divided by y. So, that is equal to, you can have 1 minus x written for this 1 minus x divided by 1 minus y into x by y. That is the final answer. Okay. So, the next question 16 is not that difficult. 
16 is find the derivative of the function 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x to the power of 4 into 1 plus x to the power of 8, right? And hence find f dash 1. Okay. So, 17th question we can only do with the logarithmic rule. 18th question actually we can do it very easily. That I think we will be completing this exercise today. 16, 17, 18. Not very important, but it's reasonably important. The next questions. Okay. So, 16th. Find the derivative of the function given by f of x. So, you take f of x is 1 plus x into 1 plus x squared to 1 plus x to the power of 4 into 1 plus x to the power of 8. Take logarithm both sides. Take log. So, you have log f of x equal to log entire thing 1 plus x into 1 plus x squared into 1 plus x to the power of 4 into 1 plus x to the power of 8. Using the logarithmic rules, we simplify the right side first. This is like log mn. So, it will become log 1 plus x plus log 1 plus x squared plus log 1 plus x to the power of 4 plus log 1 plus x to the power of 8. Now differentiate both sides. 1 by f of x into f dash x equals differentiation for this is 1 by 1 plus x plus second one is 1 by 1 plus x square and then differentiation of x square is 2x plus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of 4. Differentiation of this is 4x cube plus 1 by 1 plus x to the power of 8. The differentiation of x to the power of 8 is 8x to the power of 7. And therefore, that is how you will see f dash x equal to f of x is nothing but this 1 plus x into 1 plus x square into 1 plus x to the power of 4 into 1 plus x to the power of 8 bracket this entire stuff 1 by 1 plus x plus 2x by 1 plus x squared plus 4x cube divided by 1 plus x to the power of 4 plus 8x to the power of 7 divided by 1 plus x to the power of 8. If you want you can simplify but I think this is sufficient because what we need is actually we want to find out f dash 1. So f dash 1. What do we mean by f dash 1? We have to substitute wherever x is there 1. So that becomes this is 2 and this is also 2 and this is also 2 this is also 2. Then this is 1 by 1 plus 1, 1 by 2, plus 2 by 2, plus 4 divided by 2, plus 8 divided by 2. So, when you simplify this, this gets 16 here. Half, this becomes 1, this becomes 2, and this becomes 4. So, 1 plus 2, 3, 3 plus 4, 7, 7 and half. 7 and half is nothing but 15 by 2. So, 120. That's the answer. So, the next part, 17, differentiate this in three ways, whatever. First way, anyway, using product rule, you take u, v, expanding the product to obtain a single polynomial. Okay, let's do all the things. It won't come in the final exam question, but 
you must know the method that's why we will complete this so let's take y is equal to y is equal to x square minus 5x plus 8 right x no is that can you read that x square minus 5x plus 8 so this is x squared minus 5x plus 8 and the next one is x cube correct x cube plus 7x plus 9 yeah so now method 1 uv rule so u dash equal to 2x minus 5 for this v dash v dash equal to one second so you will get v dash is nothing but 3x squared plus 7 so you have dy by dx dy by dx equal to u dash v 2x minus 5 2x minus 5 into v is this x cube x cube plus 7x plus 9 plus uv dash square x squared minus 5x plus 8 multiplied by v dash 3x squared plus 7 3x squared plus 7 so you need to be complete <coughs> so multiply this entire thing 2x to the power of 4 plus 14x square plus 18x minus 5x cube minus 35x minus 45 plus 3x to the power of 4 this one plus 7x squared minus 15x cube minus 35x plus 24x squared plus 56 so when you add them you get x to the power of 4 5x to the power adding these two then minus 20x cube then 14 plus 7 21 45 x then minus 70 70 you have to subtract 18 so you'll get 52 52 x then plus 11 this is by method 1 now method 2 is by expanding the product to obtain a single polynomial so method 2 is or this is your second so first of all he is asking us to multiply so you get x to the power of 5 x to the power of 5 I am directly multiplying okay then plus 7 x cube plus 
the seven x cube plus nine x squared. That is when I multiply the first term x squared with a minus five x, I get minus five x cube. Okay, then minus thirty five x squared. 35x squared then minus 45x so the last one with 8 multiplication 8x cube 8x cube and 8 sounds 56x 56x okay plus 72 So this is what we get after multiplying x is what f of x is. f of x is this. So f x f dash x. So each term we are doing it's a 5 x to the power of 4. Then actually this is 15 minus 5 is 10. Therefore 10 x cube was there. So 10 x cube so 10x cube will become, did we miss something here? 5x to the power of 4 was missing. Uh, let's see, what did I do? x to the power of, x to the power of 5, correct. Then first item, totally 9 terms should be there. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 terms are there. So x to the power of 5 is correct with the second x with a minus 5x. So I should have minus 5x to the power of 4. Oh, this is not correct. This is x to the power of 4. Okay, that is so f. So that's why when I do this, I have mass 20x cube. That is for this only, for this only. Then this is 15x cube, 15 into 3, 45x square you will get. And here minus 26x square, that means minus 52x I will get. Then this is 11x, so I will get plus 11. So there may be a difference, let's see the answer. So previous page, we got 5x to the power of 4 minus 52x 11 perfect right same it's the same thing okay now method 3 method 3 he says use the logarithmic differentiation so when you do the logarithmic differentiation f of x f of x equal to x squared minus 5x plus 8 x squared minus 5x plus 8 bracket x cube plus 7x plus 9. Hmm. So when you take logarithm, you get f of x log f of x equal to log x squared minus 5x plus 8 and because it's a product, it becomes plus log x cube plus 7x plus 9. So this is how logarithmic things will go. Then differentiating both. 1 divided by f of x into f dash x equal to. For this, the differentiation is divided by x squared minus 5x plus 8 and differentiation of this is 2x 5 2x minus 5 plus 1 divided by x cube plus 7x plus 9 and chain rule that's why you are doing differentiation of this is 3x squared plus 
7. So now I have to get the f of f dash x. So f dash x f dash x equal to f of x is nothing but this product, right? So you will have this entire thing. So x So x squared minus 5x plus 8 multiplied by x cube plus 7x plus 9 into this entire thing will come here. Okay. So simplify that. So this first term will cancel with this. Okay. Because you are taking LCM and all the stuff. Okay. Or without taking LCM, this first term will get cancelled. Then you will have 2x minus 5. 2x minus 5 into x cube plus 7x plus 9. Plus second one gets cancelled. You will have 3 square plus 7 into x squared minus 5x plus 8. Okay, so when you actually multiply and simplify, you get the same answer. Okay, you'll get the same answer. That's all is the thing. Simple algebraic simplification is the remaining stuff. He asked, do they, will, do they all give the same answer? Of course, yes. Okay, the next one is a derivation. Eighteenth one is a derivation. He is saying differentiation of u v w. So u multiplied by v multiplied by w. So he says show that in two ways. First by repeated application of product rule. Second by logarithms logarithmic differentiation. This is also they have not given this question any time actually but you know nothing wrong going through this question okay uh, as i said right your local tests they may give suddenly they pick up from somewhere and at that time you will just say no no i think rao sir has not done this and suddenly exam i was not able to do okay i'm not able to do this question that's the reason we'll cover it all right so Next page, you will have eighteenth d by d by dx of u v w. So we need to prove that as d u by dx into u w. No, VW, right? So VW plus U into DV by DX W plus U UV into DW by DX. Okay. So, first means you have to use the product function. So, what is the product rule? You consider two of them. You consider these two. Okay. So, let us say Vw is equal to something P. So, then what we have dx? d by dx of u and P. So, <coughs> what is the time is du by dx into p plus u into dp by dx. So, now it is clear that is du by dx, p is nothing but v and w. So, this part has come. Now, for this u into, you have to substitute. 
you are doing d v w by d x. So that's equal to d u by d x into v w. This is the first part as is. For this, u into first function d v by d x w plus v into d w by d x. So you simplify, you get the same answer as given. So, the, so you get du by dx vw plus u dA by dx w plus uv dw by dx. So this is the first method we have done as what he asked. Now the second method is logarithms. So, we consider y is equal to u v w. What we want is dy by dx. Therefore, taking logarithm, log y equal to log u v w. So, log, log u plus log v plus log w. So differentiating 1 by y into dy by x equal to 1 by u into du by dx plus 1 by v into dv by dx plus 1 by w into dw by dx. So dy by dx equal to y into, that means y uvw. So uvw into entire thing, this entire thing. So when you simplify, first for the first one u gets cancelled. So you will have du by dx into vw. For the second one, v gets cancelled. So u dv by dx into w. For third one, w gets cancelled. So u into dw by dx. So proved. So this is how we have done entire logarithmic differentiation. Tell me how bad